Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out the Atomic Heart exclusive hands-on preview uh, from IGN, IGN First. Um, I'm really looking forward to this game. I've been, I've been seeing a good amount of gameplay for it so far, a boss fight and everything, and I, I'm really excited about it from what I've seen so far, and I uh, can't wait to see more. So, yeah, let's check this out. It looks like IGN has... Um, IGN's gonna be Atomic Heart covering it uh, on its all this month. It's it seems a graphic, like first and leading up to the launch, which is pretty cool. Like abilities, and those are locked to classics of nice. the genre, Bioshock. That and was Arthur. that was cool. However, that doesn't mean it Whoa. hasn't gotten any of its own unique ideas and surprises. Also hidden up. Yeah, it definitely MC, reminded me of Bioshock. Considerable amount Fallout. of Fallout. debut. There's a nice. I'm loving the uh, enemy variety too. Very very awesome. In that regard. Atomic Heart lulls you into familiar territory straight off the bat, albeit Whoa. in a very unfamiliar world. Its opening takes obvious cues uh, from Bioshock Infinite's masterful introduction to Columbia. Right, Bioshock Infinite. Infinite, that game was awesome. Alternate history so yeah, that looks city. just like Thanks it. Thanks to the big brains at the fictional facility 3826, robots have been integrated into society and help relieve Whoa. the public from everyday stresses and labor. Yeah, the graphics, the calm is shortly the graphics look amazing too. The AI turns and the gameplay. So friendly, I think the best part about it is the gameplay. Earnest. The first person shooting, the different abilities, From elements there, that I've you have. To several different points nice. In Atomic Heart to get a proper feel of what it has More to combat offer, here. consistently being surprised by what came next. It's not the straight up corridor shooter some may nice. envisage, nor a sprawling oh, that's open cool. a little world bit of full of driving action here, vehicle or action. a puzzle filled oh, brain wow. teaser. It's all of those things nice. and more. The scope of Atomic Heart is impressive that's cool. as you'll make your way through its many distinct and large sci-fi complexes okay. over the course of its 20 hour plus campaign. Awesome. Atomic Heart's closest analog structure nice. that looks fun. be Halo Infinite, an open world littered with mobs of enemies okay. and linear story dungeons to dip in and Whoa, out of. These that was dungeons cool. are where the majority of main missions lie and I love it with the, more about the, facility, love the, the people behind it and what how you exactly can uh, move people and there. everything with your hands. Battle through sections controlled Ooh. by rogue AI units before more often than not facing off against a challenging okay, boss. Okay, look at 1v1 Atomic here. Heart isn't reinventing the wheel in this regard, but definitely nice. adds its own flair into the mix. Okay. Greetings, comrades. That is creepy. <laughs> That's creepy because her eyes aren't moving. What the fuck are you babbling on about? <laughs> One of the first things that struck me about Atomic Heart is its thoroughly distinctive art style. Oh, wow. It's a gorgeous game packed yeah, with lush beautiful. forests, eye-catching architecture, and all manner of bonkers looking oh, machinery. Wow. It's noticeably vast, endlessly creative, oh, it and looks frankly, open world too, to which is nice. All at okay. once as you drive, zip line, Whoa. swim. Yeah, it's definitely reminded me of Far Cry from Killer as well robots. with the zip lines, the open are world each element. Visual delight to take in. But rarely are you ever given the opportunity to do so okay. because razor blades, electric pulses, and flying kicks are hurled at you with frightening Whoa. regularity. They each emphasize the intelligence in AI, never shying right. away from a battle or afraid of showing. I'm loving the ver enemy arsenals. variety here. Of Very course, awesome. There are larger scale. I reacted to that boss fight too. It's on my channel. I'll put it in the description down below as well. The open world. They nice. often provide challenge and spectacle in equal measure okay. as they unleash one devastating attack after another while you chip away at their monstrous health bars. Awesome. Atomic Heart isn't afraid to switch up its combat either. Frequently nice. flitting between frantic firefights. Looks like it's going to be running at 6 PS, 60 FPS. Hopefully. Tools. It's an exciting what way I'm seeing, it looks like the 60 FPS. It's kind of hard to tell though with done to maintain uh, balance. When you're First and video, foremost, but... it's a shooter and has an impressive wow. collection of firearms to back I love the, the weapon the variety too. Looks like it's a mix and match with a lot of okay, a little AK action. RPGs. Ooh, nice. Then there's the more experimental end of the spectrum. I like this gun a lot. For guns that blast Probably use out this one a lot. Bombs, to something that can only be described as a large metal pole that fires Whoa. out whirling blades that carve That's up enemies unique. before returning. That's reminded me of the hand. weapons from Ratchet whole, and Clank, kind of. feels competent, if not spectacular, fitting somewhere in between nice. the rustic feel of Fallout and the snappier gunplay of Call of okay, Duty. Okay, cool. Speaking of your hand, an essential part of the Atomic Heart kit is the glove. Awesome. A sci-fi piece of gear that grants elemental powers. Using the electrified Shock to okay. hold mechanical foes in their stride before following up with a flurry of bullets. Kind of like a, a, a stun. Can stun people function. with your glove or use elemental abilities. Telekinesis. Are glorious to wield nice. You lift yep. a group of enemies it's gonna be my favorite part. Introducing them back to the ground with a awesome. Ooh. 
It's a joy to play with and even more fun to right. experiment with. Ooh. Freezing an enemy before shattering through their brittle metal shell with a massive axe. Is Man, this looks so fun. Time. I love the dismemberment. The dismemberment from the enemies. Is one of Atomic a great job of that. Missions. You're thrown into the, the robots. deep end as you're taught how to survive in the dark corridors of the facility's Ooh. many underground Ow. labs. Atomic Heart is not an easy game. Looks like melee combat is going to be really fun too. It's a hardcore shooter experience. Although difficulty options are available, okay. it doesn't take many hits or kicks from a mustachioed right. android to take you down. Right. Gotta be Evading careful. and knowing when to attack takes timing and an ability to Ooh. learn and read your enemy. Thankfully, more powerful cool. charged attacks are signaled by a glowing red ring moments before okay. impact. Miss it though, and you'll be on the floor scrambling for it. Oh man. Yet. This patient back and forth melee combat will you gotta be tactical, to okay. anyone who has played almost any action game over the past decade. Right. But nonetheless, it's a surprise to see it pop up in a first person shooter. It's much less forgiving or quick hitting as something like Dying Light okay. or Far Cry. Instead, making each heavy swing meaningful rather than relying on a flurry of hits to get That's out good. of a sticky situation. I like that. It's almost survival horror in nature, with moments from the aforementioned I like that too. Survival horror is right it's up my alley. always are lit only by the occasional flicker of light, and the oppressive Ooh. silence broken by the sound of smashing glass. Nice. As bloodthirsty robots practice what Love they're doing. Loving the shotgun, the AK-47. As I hesitantly made my the way different through, I could unique have been reminded too. of the first time oh, I wow. entered Rapture, or some of Half-Life 2's scarier moments. Whoa. Another Valve game Atomic Heart draws influence from is Portal. Portal? Not wow. from any of its robot designs, the puzzles. but the surprising revelation that puzzles oh, wow. are such a considerable cool. part. Test sites are puzzle it's like boxes its own, own unique game when you see the puzzles here. Complete. Very, very cool. They're essentially abandoned lab facilities requiring you to put combat skills through a cerebral wow. exam. For example, use your glove's shock ability to magnetize nodes, which in turn move platforms to help you on your way. The puzzles oh, I've tried okay. haven't been the most challenging, but provide a welcome change of pace. That's cool. Mixes things, things up with, with the, the combat. I like that. Valuable upgrades upon completion. Weapons and abilities can be modified okay, get and a, upgraded throughout. Look at the, the Weapons menu. Nice. Taking down the main Upgrading. Threats. Robots are controlled by a central Oh, we gotta look at the map. Cool. Always on the lookout for you. Okay. Ways of combating its glare include avoiding its cameras, either by disabling them or making the glove perform its best awesome. gravity gun impression to hurl objects as a distraction. Oh, okay. Make a wrong move and you'll quickly find yourself overcome by enemies as the okay. facility sends Looks like that was a little scanner. The line to attack. The, the scanner, you can scan your environments. It I like really that. Evokes the feeling of going nice. Up an intelligent, That's a unique enemy. That looks really ecosystem good. That acts as a unit rather than occasional pockets like of a crazy activity. animal. The hours I've spent with Atomic Heart have left me yearning for more. Awesome. It's an engrossing world to get lost in. I'm really excited for this. This is awesome. And inspired art and this is design. very, very cool. I have a few doubts over whether the main story will deliver a tale worthy of such a stellar yeah, location. I'm not worried about that. I've seen some heavy-handed writing oh, and performances that's cool. that leave a little to Whoa. be desired. Then there's the nauseating forward roll animation that had my stomach churning on more than ah, one occasion. That's not that bad. I can't say these I think the gameplay will make up for it. Away from for everything. Exciting things I found myself I'm not worried about it. Along the way, though, time will Ooh. tell if Atomic Heart lives up to its lofty aspirations. But it certainly Whoa. makes a very strong first impression. That was crazy. For more on Atomic Heart, that anime, out wow. Battle gameplay or a deep dive into a history of the game okay. world. Very, very awesome. Well. That was our, our, our look at um, exclusive hands-on preview of Atomic Heart. Uh, IGN's really been uh, killing it with these, really showing a, a good amount of gameplay, uh, what we can expect. Um, I really like um, how we got to see more of that, that awesome combat here, the telekinesis, the abilities, the elements that you can use with your glove, the, ep the weapon variety, the... Um, the enemy variety there's just so much here that's that's awesome we got a little look at the map uh, but everything they've been showing for this game so far has really got me excited and I, I really love what we got to see here I thought this was a, a great step into what we can expect for the game and I, I thought it was definitely uh, really impressive and awesome so let's read some of the description and comments down below so watch our exclusive atomic heart preview to hear about our hands-on impressions with Mun Munfish's smart shooter that's packed full of surprises, Atomic Hearts is this month's IGN first. Stay tuned throughout the uh, November for exclusive news and videos diving deeper into the upcoming action RPG. You can uh, also check out the Munfish website there, it says in the description. But yeah, I'm definitely going to be covering this game uh, more as well. Um, and I, I've watched, I've reacted to a couple videos from uh, IGN as well on the on this game so far. So I'll make sure to put those in the comments below, on uh, in the description below. So make sure to check those 
goes out. Um, so yeah, let's go down to some of the comments down below here. So um, the amount of features in this game for this size of a studio is insane. Yeah, definitely. They really seem to have been taking their time putting a lot of amazing uh, variety of features in here when it comes to enemy variety. Uh, the weapons, your loadout, uh, the abilities. There's a lot to, to look forward to here, uh, which, which is pretty awesome and I'm really excited about. So um, let's see uh, here. Finally, next gen game to fill my Bioshock void. Yeah, definitely this has that Bioshock vibe to it. I think a lot of Bioshock fans are going to be really happy about this game and uh, are, are probably going to get it. Um, and I'm a huge Bioshock, Bioshock fan, so I'm definitely um, excited for that. Um, uh, since 2018, it's been announced in this game. Looks so stunning. Can't wait to play. Wow, it's been announced. It's been announced since 2018. Very, very cool. A lot of some people in the comments are saying that they hope this game gets a better review. People are saying if it gets a seven out of ten, they'll be depressed. I think this will get like an eight or nine out of ten. I could even see this getting a maybe a ten out of ten, probably an eight or a nine out of ten, for sure. Uh, Russian developers stepping up their game. Love to see it. Yeah, shout out to the Russian developers. You guys are awesome. Thanks for making this amazing game. It looks so, so incredible. Um, this game looks amazing. Huge potential. Hope it lives up to the hype. And we'll read a couple more here. This game looks like so much fun on so many different levels. I'm into it. Awesome. And then we'll look, we'll read one more here. Um, uh, this, <coughs> excuse me, this actually looks fantastic. I'm just glad that after all was said, they, uh, this really is a game after all. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It's really awesome to see that. Um, and a lot of people are excited for this game, just like I am. And it's great to see that, uh, they're really honing in on that combat, the abilities, the enemy variety, but yeah, I appreciate all the amazing support, everyone. Please leave a like down be below. It really helps out the channel. Subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. Uh, we're doing two, we're guaranteed two videos per week, so we're sticking with that consistency. Uh, two videos plus for uh, per week, so it, it's going to be there at the the very least two videos, and if, if there's more things that uh, gaming-wise pop up throughout the week, we'll definitely cover and react to that. And then make sure you comment down down below what you think of uh, the Atomic Heart exclusive hands-on preview. Are you excited for this game? Are you a Bioshock fan? Kind of looking interest, uh, interested into playing this or checking it more out. But yeah, I appreciate all the amazing support again, everyone. Have an awesome day.